Now in this video, we will see the working of memory bed register which are inside the PLC. Typically, they are the internal resistors we use. These are, you know, typically used for, these are like helping bits which are typically used to make the program a little easier, you know, to reduce the complexity we use in internal memory bits. So we have these signified with M1, M2, M3 up to MV, right? So how to use that? They are quite, you know, similar to the normal outputs we have in here. So let, let me take an input, I1. Okay. Now here I can take output coil memory bit. Like this. And I can even, you know, latch this M1 using the contact M1 like this. And unlatch this using another input. Uh, let me take this I3, taking it NC, simulate and run. And you'll find this coil symbol over here. These are the, this is internal coil. So by pressing X1, I1, this has been latched by this its own internal bit. And using I3, this is unlatched. Okay, so this is a kind of helping weight. We'll be using this bits later in the our different programming exercise which we'll do in this Siemens PLC videos. Sorry, Shonara PLC videos. We'll be doing this a lot of uh, exercises in which we'll be using this helping bit. So I'll, I'll come to this bits later on. So let's first understand the different types of timers. So in the next video, you'll see different types of timers. So for the timing, you can you can just consider this bit as internal resistor or internal memory bits, which you can latch and which you can unlatch. You can use multiple contacts of this bits, NO and NC. These are not practically exist, but they are inside a PLC. You cannot see that, but they are inside the microcontroller and it's inside the memory, it's there, okay? So that was about few, few, you know, <coughs> few information about this memory bits.